in Psalm 133, one of my favorite Psalms, it says, upon unity, God commands a blessing, even life forevermore. We're seeing it. We're seeing a commanded blessing on Ottawa. It's nothing that really Love Ottawa is doing. It's just the Spirit of God is weaving unity among leaders and among just Christians in the city to want to work together. And they, they do it with joy. They do it with effectiveness. And we're seeing people come to Christ in all these teams that are working together on different things. When friendships grow, trust goes up. And when trust goes up, people look around and say, you know what, I think we need to do this together. Most of us believe in loving each other and getting along and working together, but it's the doing that's the hard part. And we tend to circle the wagons and stay in our own little churches because we're just so busy. Just help us break out of that. Our essential job is to build teams around dreams for city reaching. It provides a platform for teams to live out their passion, to live out their dream. And the thing that really gets me going is to watch people uh, give their lives away for Christ, for Jesus. We just want to try to help people work together on the thing God's put on their heart. The first team we actually got started was called Friends for Dinner. There's international students in our city. There's actually about 10,000 of them at our various campuses. And the idea was to encourage local Christian families to host an international. This idea grew from just 30 students in the first Christmas to now just even the last Thanksgiving, 270 students in Christian homes. And now in six other cities across Canada and growing into other countries. So who knows what God's got in mind when a seed is put in the ground and starts to grow. It was Richard who called me and said, I hear you have a dream. And so as soon as he called me on the phone, I thought, yeah, I know what that dream is. It's the big gift. And so he said right away that day that he, they really wanted to support us and back us up. And so that's when we started meeting here. It's wonderful to see the growth that's taking place. And when we talk about growth, it's not just the growth in the number of churches involved, but it's the growth in the number of people that are ministered to. That's the exciting part about the ministry. We glean from one another, we learn from one another, we share ideas with one another. It's a collaborative that's really, really effective. I love what uh, this whole meeting is about. I feel like it's a light in a very dark time, that this sort of gathering is, is bringing the light of hope, uh, the good news, and uh, saying we care, we see you. We're very pleased and, and uh, grateful for being a part of the Love Ottawa vision. Jesus always loved honest questions, and he answered honest questions. So I'm excited about Dig and Delve because it takes honest questions very seriously and attempts to give a good answer to them. The planning team is made up of churches and ministries and individuals across the city. And we also very purposefully network with churches and the people that make up those churches and the people that those churches serve. And so all of those flavors kind of feed into how we design the conference. We want to be able to have the conversation with believers, with curious people, with undecided people, uh, with dissenting voices, and be able to do that in a real open, honest, accessible way. I was mentoring young people as a pastor in this city for about 10 years. Through the love auto relationship, uh, what was something that be was being done by one person has become a city-wide initiative and we are looking forward to having probably all the churches in the city involved in a youth mentoring initiative of some sort, but particularly involved with us at the Cord. Band of Brothers has been going on for maybe four or five years. Here in Ottawa, it started off with one time getting together and seeing just incredible results of men finding freedom through other men talking honestly, sharing out of their own weaknesses and yet how God has taken that and transformed them through that. It continues to grow and we continue to have the problem with too many people coming and having to accommodate different space arrangements. I'm amazed at how many men come who need Christ and come to Christ. Or maybe they've been a believer and they've wandered away and they come back to Christ on, on these kind of intense retreats that are put on by the Band of Brothers team. It's awesome. Throughout history, God has always built His church, and He has different ways of doing it in different seasons. And the season we're in now is we are seeing the church actively going out to the community 
to show them the love of God. And there's a response to that love that's happening. People are coming to faith because of those acts of love, those acts of generosity, those acts of kindness. People are genuinely experiencing the love of God. And once they experience that, they, they want to develop a relationship with God. The most important thing going forward is to continue this real basis of relationship together, prayer together, mission together, and that they're all inseparable. It's really exciting when you see people who have a passion for this activity, this mission that they see, and they know they need to be praying about it, and the people coming alongside to pray into that. We are truly blessed when we think back on how God has been multiplying teams and blessing the effort but we're not at all satisfied. All of this really comes down to relying on God. We believe He's the one that's leading His church to what He cares about, to what He's interested in in this city. If you've got something that uh, you think might fit, we would love to hear from you.